The newly updated New York State Basic Life Support Protocols provides us with an opportunity to create this video series highlighting BLS EMS care. Our vision is to elevate the provision of pre-hospital emergency care by conveying the importance of basic life support. This is not an educational series that is aimed at the weakest providers, and the so-called lowest common denominator argument needs to be expunged from our thought process. The reality is, by empowering our EMS professionals to utilize their skills to the highest level and never settling for just good enough, we can break through the limitations imposed by this so-called lowest common denominator argument. If you are new to EMS, these modules will help you to go beyond the minimum basic skills needed to pass an examination. If you have several years experience, you know there are many different ways to practice pre-hospital medicine even within the protocol guidelines. The video series is not meant to be an authoritative demonstration of the only way to provide care, but to demonstrate certain practices as a springboard to facilitate discussion with colleagues, educators, and medical directors to build upon the minimum threshold of competence and explore the nuances of practice of pre-hospital medicine, even at the most basic levels. These videos are for everyone new certified first responders as well as emergency medical technicians may use this information to help take their skills to the next level. Advanced paramedics as well as EMS physicians may take this opportunity to focus on part of their practice that often makes the biggest difference in patient outcomes. CFRs and EMTs may sometimes feel that their skills are unimportant or overlooked. Paramedics may focus so much on advanced skills that the basics are missed or glossed over. EMS physicians may have become accustomed to practicing in the hospital setting where many of these important skills are done by others. But in the challenging field environment, in the midst of sensory overload, exhaustion of cognitive bandwidth, and critically limited resources, all of this falls on us to perform flawlessly and efficiently. These days in EMS, resources are limited. Advanced life support may not be readily available. Employing excellent BLS skills and initiating transport to the hospital early may often be the best thing to do for your patient. The techniques described in this video are included to spark discussion, not as authoritative practice directives. Consider the benefits and limitations of each technique and discuss with your colleagues and medical director. The content is intended as an educational resource only and not intended to supersede any state, regional, or local guidelines, protocols, policies, medical direction, or any other authority.